In this video, we are carving through even more Pico CTF 2022 Capture the Flag. In the last video, we did some super simple, hey, digging through HTML, CSS, JavaScript files to see where in the source code of a web page the flag might be. But now we're going to be diving into something new. So I'll hop over to my computer screen and we will get after it. I'm over here on Pico CTF 2022 on their website, scrolling down on the second page of challenges. We're moving into a forensics category challenge called Sleuth Kit Intro for 100 points. And it says download the disk image and use MMLS on it to find the size of the Linux partition. Connect to the remote checker service to check your answer and get the flag. Note if you're using the web shell, download and extract the disk image and attempt, not your home directory. Nah, we're not about that web shell life. We like to keep doing things on our own local terminal because we are the realist. Uh, let's grab the link for this download disk image. And this, of course, is how we connect to the remote checker program. Let's move into our forensics category. Let's make a directory for sleuth kit intro and hop over into that directory. I'll W get this file down so we have this thing to work with. It is a compressed disk image file and i say compressed because of the dot gz extension there as you might remember from a previous video that is the gnu zip archive uh, compression here so we can gun zip this or g unzip this all you need to do is run that command g unzip or gun zip and that will end up carving out the original file name disk.img or remove that leading suffix for the file extension with that we have a disk image file that is a DOS or master boot record boot sector partition. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they had suggested using a tool MMLS, which uh, I got to admit, I'm not too familiar with. What is this? It says it displays the partition layout of a volume system and partition tables of like, okay, if this is a disk image, it is the file system, hard drive space thing for a computer or for a hard drive or volume system as it mentions hey the storage that you might have stuff written to disk on so let's use mmls on this disk image and it tells me okay i have a dos partition table i'm going to assume the zero zero slot for the meta is nothing this one with the bunch of hyphens here probably is just going into being an unallocated partition but if there is a real file system on here like denoted as linux okay it has a start and end section where that might be where across the bytes and the block sector shenanigans of this disk image is. And we want to know the length or the full size of this, which is 202752, as we can kind of figure out based off that table. With that, we know we can go put this on the remote access checker. Uh, we'll copy and paste the netcat command to access this host on this port number. When I hit enter, what is the size of the Linux partition in the given disk image? Length in sectors, we can copy and paste 202752, slap it in with control shift V, and <laughs> that's it. Ooh, another good challenge, just... We walked through the park on that one, everybody. It literally told us, hey, go ahead and use that tool. Uh, just some good learning, just some good quick exposure to how we might uh, check the partition size. Now, hey, if I wanted to end up carving this into a get flag script, I could probably just like echo this 202752 number. Yeah, get it on a centered output and then pipe it into that netcat command. It's like, Sure, I, I entered it automatically while I was interacting with that manual socket there. But with that, we could just grep, as we usually do, our Dumbo Pico CTF flag format. And that is a, another one retrieved with a simple get flag script that we can save and finish to call that challenge done. Excellent. We did submit that and we are done with that challenge. And that is the very, very end of Sleuth Kit intro. Quick video, everybody. Quick learning. New tool, new command line, new program and utility as part of your toolkit. MMLS will show you the partition size, start and ending in their block sectors, and then the length of that overall partition size. Something new to learn and keep on track with. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press those YouTube algorithm things. Like, video, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much. Love the support. Love you sharing the video. I'll see you in the next one, everybody. Take care.